Mitch Jones is a really close friend of mine, so this video is going to be a little bit more serious. Mitchell David Jones was born July 23, 1992, in one of the richest neighborhoods in North America. His dad was Grimace in the McDonald's commercials, so Mitch never had to worry about a dime in his life. Despite having unlimited Big Macs, every console at launch, and even a maid named Skyline to clean up his jizz, Mitch was still miserable. Like many other miserable children in the early 2000s, Mitch became a mall rat, where he would hang out at Hot Topic and pee in cups in the food court. Mitch had a Tumblr, where he would share posts about his mental issues, skating, and the latest boxy videos. He once saw a post about Warp Tour, a music festival where scene kids go to listen to Asking Alexandria and buy I Heart Boobies wristbands. He and his friend Max were on their way to the show, but as they were crossing the street, a bus came hurling towards them. Mitch instinctively threw his friend in front of the bus, and Max broke his leg. With nothing to do for the summer, Mitch and Max started to play World of Warcraft. Mitch loved the idea of running away from his problems and turning everyone around him into a sheep, and started playing a mage. He quickly became one of the best mages in North America, but didn't know what to use his skills for. That's when Tyler Nicknam, a fellow rank 1 player, told Mitch about a website called Joltcoin, and another website called Twitch, where players can sit and make money asking the chat stupid questions. This was a match made in heaven for Mitch, and he began streaming in 2012. Mitch started streaming high rank 3s and created the Arcane Dream, where Mitch would only queue as an Arcane Mage because he sucked at every other spec. His high energy, combined with his abilities to rhyme Mitch Bitch and Twitch, do a retarded dance, and chill with a potato, gained him a large fan base known as the Plebs. While Mitch was gaining popularity on his own, he started playing with Soda Pop and Wreckful to gain exposure, and became one of the biggest names in the WoW section. With his new fame, Mitch dubbed himself The Law, a name he made up all by himself. It seemed like everything was going well for Mitch, but then, in late 2014, everything changed. Warlords of Draenor came out, considered by everyone as the worst expansion in World of Warcraft. This Farmville simulator not only destroyed high-end PvP, but decimated arcane mages. The chat started to spam that Mitch was washed up, and with the arcane dream dead, Mitch started running around Dalaran, having absolutely nothing to do. Mitch and his friends Barry and Wreckful started questing girls, using their view count to mask their insecurities and harass any girl streamer wanting exposure. MJ, Tamu, Celeste, and Emily CC were just some of the basic white girls they talked to. Belissa, Belissa, your name starts with a B. I want to give you my D. Why won't you get on top of me and ride me like a pony? Girl, I'll let you own me. So ride, ride into the sunset. Let me unset your bra and play with your titties, please. <laughs> That was it. <laughs> this drama formed a new demographic of viewers who only wanted questing and drama. Mitch knew he had to cater to this new demographic and was willing to say anything about anyone just to get a few laughs in chat. This created a community called the Mitch Jones Offline Chat, who would go into other streamers' chats and make fun of them for things Mitch said. For example, Tamu for having sex with Swifties Razor Naga, Hotted for DDoSing and botting and Sidu for just being a boring streamer. While these were obviously blatant lies and the streamer told Mitch not to encourage his chat, Mitch wouldn't take any responsibility for their actions and would just respond, it's just the plebs being plebs. This lack of responsibility for his actions continued, and in early 2016, Mitch started a drama war with the king himself, Soda Poppin. Soda Poppin was a young soy boy who was whipped by a girl named Leah. Mitch would constantly mention Leah on stream calling her a slut, encouraging his chat to mock Soda for dating her. Leah tried to talk to Mitch off stream about it, but Mitch just responded with a smiley face. Soda confronted Mitch about this on stream, but the majority of viewers hated Leah at the time, and sided with Mitch. Despite Soda doing nothing wrong and making some great observations, Gamers don't really know women very well. Mitch won the drama war, and with tens of thousands of fans, 420 donations, and Ethan Spielberg writing the scripts. Everyone was loving Game of Jones. But one day, Wreckful started a new quest with a Hearthstone streamer named Mira. Mitch also started talking to Mira, 
and realized that he actually liked her. Despite warnings from other streamers like Raynad, Mitch flew Mira out from Moscow and started to date her. Soon after, Rectal invited Mitch to move in, and they became the biggest duo on Twitch. With the plebs by his side, a best friend, and even a personal blowjob machine, Mitch was on top of the world. But Mitch knew he had to continue the drama, and on his birthday, Mitch told Rectal that he could hang out with his girlfriend, Blue, instead of spending the day with him. After Rectal left, Mitch turned on his stream and told his viewers that Rectal abandoned him on his birthday, and instigated the chat to find out where Rectal went. The chat quickly found tweets from Blue saying she's meeting with a friend, and discovered they were together the entire time. Rectal called Mitch out for being fake and lying, and then turned his attention to Mira, calling her fake as well. Rectal felt Mira was splitting the group into two, and told Mitch that he had to choose, the Russian or the Jew. Mitch chose Rectal, and ended his relationship with Mira. It seemed like the drama war was over, but then Brother Toe, Mitch's personal carry in league, saw Mitch eating dinner with Mira, and immediately texted Rectal. Rectal did some thinking, and decided he didn't want a friend who constantly lies and betrays him. And on stream, Rectal announced that he's done with Mitch. I, I just, I, I don't think he's really my friend. I, I thought he was the whole time. I thought he was Mitch Jones the whole time, but he really was David Jones, guys. He's just fucking David Jones. And he just pretends to be Mitch Jones on his fucking, in front of me and on his stream. Like, what the hell? That's, it's so weird. While Mitch was inconsistent his entire career, this drama caused Mitch to ditch for months, only to come back to a chat filled with rage and anger. It only got worse due to the Mitch Jones cycle, where he'd play WoW for a few days, reminisce about the old times, create petty drama, and ditch again. This cycle continued for almost a year, and with no friends, drama, or questing, it seemed like all hope was lost. But that's when Twitter.com slash TV appeared. In September 2017, Mitch went into a lease with a few other streamers, Cloaksy and Sony D. It was a great idea at first, but then Sony D and Mitch started to have a fight over how to clean a blender, and Sony D wanted to move out. That's when Trainwreck said he would take Sony D's spot, and in return, would boost Mitch's stream back to 20,000 viewers. Trainwreck first made an appearance on Mitch's stream in 2016, but was hated by the community after Glink exposed him for lying about owning a Porsche. But this time, Train wanted to come back as a life coach for Mitch. At first, the streams were doing great, from sitting in a car at a parking lot to driving in a car to a parking lot. The views were steadily climbing, and the viewers were slowly getting back on Mitch's side. But Trainwreck threatened Mitch's position as the superior streamer by making the donation sound his Twitter handle and constantly berating Mitch on stream. In retaliation, Mitch started attacking Trainwreck for being manipulative and ungrateful. Mitch and Train's friendship became a ticking time bomb, until February 2018, when Mitch told Trainwreck that he's done with his lies, and stumbled on stream drunk, telling the Twitch community his true opinions on Trainwreck. Take a break from streaming bro, get some ice cream I've ever with Celeste, I've ever met. I've ever, listen, Abe, and host Abe, I'm a being while you're offline bro. Yesterday. You can have it, you, look, look at me, look at me, you can have it, no you don't want it, say that again, say that again. I don't want it. Oh, That's okay, right. okay, okay, watch him. You don't want it, right? You don't want it. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. I'm sure he doesn't. You don't want it, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't want it. Okay. okay, okay. That's when Erob221 saved the day, telling Twitch staff to take down Mitch's stream and end the toxicity. Twitch didn't want to upset one of their most popular streamers and ban Mitch for instigating drama. Mitch once again looked like the bad guy, while Trainwreck looked like he did nothing wrong and gained a lot of Mitch's old viewers. And now, Mitch is alone in the Fortnite section, filled with anxiety and depression. Mitch skyrocketed on Twitch with his natural gameplay abilities and high energy personality. But over time, he lost his passion for games and focused his channel on drama and lies, throwing every one of his friends under the bus for content and destroying his reputation on Twitch. Mitch may talk about his past all the time, but I think that's why a lot of us can relate to him. Some of the best times in my life were running home to play World of Warcraft, logging on with my friends, and not having a care in the world. But my passion for WoW has faded, those memories have been lost, and my friends have grown up. It's a weird feeling, and something that a lot of us who grew up with MMORPGs can understand. 
I don't know what Mitch needs to do to get out of his depression, and I don't think Mitch does either. But whether it's 20,000 viewers, or just 200, I hope one day, Mitch can finally turn on his stream, and be happy. <clears throat> uh-huh. See, dude, is a uh, ditch. Uh-huh. You a little bitch. Uh-huh. Yeah! Sucking titties, cause life's like that. Yeah! Sucking titties. Alright. <clears throat> See, do what you yelling for. Lay back and get on the floor. Sit down, let me put my D inside into your butthole. Take it real nice and slow tonight. I'll light the candles tonight. We can sit there all alone, you see? No need Cassie, we don't need that fucking girl. It's me and you versus the world. I just want you to fall in love with me. Fuck Van Rookie! <laughs> you just fucked me over. I love you, C Do. I just wanna be the man that you want over. So can I come now? And I see you call in and you're calling Cassie and you won't even take up my dream. Arcane dream is real and I just gotta get it back. Fuck Frost Sack. <clears throat>